So during the previous exercise, we created a, the index HTML file and we specified why you need to name it like that and why is it important. And then we added also this sample text just to understand how tags work. Now we're going to create our own very first website. And the website, to make it a website, you need to have an initial series of lines of code, or we call them boilerplate or template. And every single HTML website in the world will have those lines, no matter what you're doing. And this is like this because the browser needs to certain like default things to render. And this is it. This is the initial boilerplate for HTML. You're never ever going to type this. If you try typing this, you're going to make five errors in the middle and you're going to end up spending an hour or 30 minutes or whatever, just because you you don't know where your error is. Humans make a lot of mistakes and we senior developers understand that more than everyone. We don't trust ourselves. That's why we don't type. We Google everything and we copy and paste. Even if we know the answer, we still Google it sometimes because it's faster to Google it. And you save some possible misspells or errors that you're going to be making as a human. So my recommendation, just copy this or use the help from the text editor. If you just put exclamation, in the majority of the modern text editors, you'll see that it's going to show the Emmet abbreviation. You click on it and it will automatically add the initial boilerplate for HTML. You can see that it's exactly the same as this one. Well, there's a comment on this one. This one is ignored because it's a comment. When you put less than exclamation hyphen hyphen and then you close it here with a hyphen hyphen greater than whatever you put in the middle it's going to be considered a comment so it's only for the developer it's not for the users it's invisible to the user and talking a little bit more about this the html the, the boilerplate for html comes with a head and a body and you can imagine like that this is like a envelope from a letter or actually the envelope and the letter letter envelope so you normally when you send a letter you need to have an envelope and then you put the letter inside right so the header of the website will be the envelope and the body here this body will be the actual letter right the content of the website so this doesn't show on the website it's what we call metadata. It's data about the website, not the website itself. For example, this little thing here that says document, this is what shows up on the top on a tab. For example, when you have a, a tab opened, like this one, when you have it open, there's a title here showing up. This title that shows up here on the top is actually the title tag, whatever it's on the title tag. I can show you when I build, let me build. I'm going to build right now. I'm going to put document three with letters. And then when I build, you can see that it says on the top document three. So that's the, like I was saying, the envelope of the letter. So it's not actually the website. It's about the website. What in particular? The title. And then, of course, the body and whatever you put inside the body, it's going to show up on the website. So... When I build like this, you can see that the website is completely empty because it doesn't have nothing. It doesn't have anything on the body. It only has stuff in the head. But if I add something into the body, whatever, and then I build again, you'll see that it actually contains that those letters that I just added. And that's how it works in HTML. Your website will always have a head and a body. It will always have a title and then it will always have a meta that identifies what type of character you want to use. This is for specifying if you're gonna if you want um french accents or spanish tilde or stuff like that you do want to have it always because you want your website to be compatible with those languages if you don't add this then it's not going to recognize special characters like for example the the accent well i'm trying to make an accent believe it or not ah oh, there it is like this character or this one none of those will be recognized so you you want to have the chart set UTF-8 and the viewport it's because you want your website to be adaptable to every single device screen and that's called the viewport every viewport 
So the exercise is telling us just to do this and that's it. So I'm guessing that I can just build this. Let's see. And perfectly. Let's see if the next exercise. Yeah, 